Hi friends, I want you all to close your eyes and think about the last time someone did something really nice for you. This could be holding the door open for you, helping you with homework, making you some cookies, or giving you a hand cleaning up your desk. Okay, now think of the last time you did something really nice for someone else. What was it? Tell the person next to you. How did you feel when someone did something nice for you? How did it feel when you did something nice for someone else? We are called to help others. God wants us to spread His love and kindness by showing others the wonderful ways we can be good friends to one another. We should always be putting others before ourselves and serving. It makes us feel so happy when others do something nice for us. And we should make it a habit to always be looking for ways that we can do the same thing for others. So today, let's learn I will serve. Let's say that all together, ready? I will serve. There's a Bible story about serving others. We can find it in the New Testament in Mark 9, 33-35. Remember, this is a true story from the Bible. It really happened. After they arrived in Capernaum and settled into a house, Jesus asked his disciples, What were you discussing on the road? But they didn't answer, because they had been arguing about which of them was greatest. Jesus' disciples were arguing with each other. That's definitely not what God wants. When you are a follower of Jesus, you need to put others first and always treat them with love and kindness. Not argue about who is the best. And they knew what they were doing was wrong because they were all afraid to tell Jesus why they were fighting. Even though Jesus already knew. Let's listen to see what he says to them. He sat down, called the 12 disciples over to him and said, whoever wants to be first must take last place and be the servant of everyone else. If we want to be the best, we have to be the last. I will serve. Say that with me, ready? I will serve. Wow! I'm sure the disciples were surprised to hear that. We always think of the best as being the very first or top of everyone else. Kind of like being the first to play a game, being the line leader, or being older than your brother or sister. But Jesus was different. Jesus came to serve and he wants to teach us to serve as well. There are so many ways that we can serve. Can you think of any? We should help clean up the table after dinner. We could help a friend when they fall down. We could even help our teacher pass out snacks. I love to serve others when they're sad by giving them a hug. What else can we do? We can hold the door open for our friends. We can offer to help our mom clean the house. There are so many ways we can serve. Serving brings our friends to Jesus, and we want everyone to know Jesus. So let's try to serve as much as we can. Before we end today, let's practice our memory verse and pray. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Let's say it again. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to serve and to give us the example of what serving looks like. We ask that you would give us opportunities to serve those around us. In Jesus' name, amen.